Hey, what's up guys, I'm Sahil from Kronos Tech and if you like to try out new operating systems time to time, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to install Chrome OS on VirtualBox. And it's really simple. So you just need two things for this whole process. Number one is VirtualBox, which you can download from this site right here. I'm going to download the Windows version. That's what I have. And I already have it downloaded actually, so I just need to skip this. And number two, you need the virtual machine file that you can download from here for VMware and for VirtualBox, whatever you like. Just make sure you download the right version. There's a 64-bit and a 32-bit version. But if you click on any of these links, there's a 99% chance that both the links will be down. So here's a mega mirror link for you and it's got the 64-bit version in it. Just download it from there and if they ask you to sign up, just do that. Takes a second, no payment crap, nothing. Once it's downloaded, here are both the files. I'm just gonna install the virtual box first. So double click on that, hit next, 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 till it gets settled and it will get installed, that's it. Now I'm just gonna run it once to see if it properly works. And yes, it's working good. Just gonna close that. And this one right here is the Chrome OS virtual machine file. I'm just gonna double click on it and execute this. If it asks you what application to run on, select VirtualBox or if you download it for VMware, select VMware and it'll open up like this. Now here are all the parameters and settings that it'll use. You can change the RAM if you wish to, but it's not necessary and I'll use one more GB just to make sure it works smoothly. That's it. You don't necessarily have to do it as I said. Next, just click on import and you're done. It can take anywhere from 10 seconds to 10 minutes depending on how fast your machine is. Once that is done, just click on this cloud ready option right here and click on the green start arrow. Now it should take roughly three to four minutes to set up everything and after a couple of black screens and dialog boxes, you'll probably reach the cloud ready logo. Now full screen isn't fully functional in this right now, but it'll probably come up with the future releases. You just need to continue with all the options that come up in different dialog boxes. And uh, here is your welcome screen. So select whatever options you like and hit next. Now after that, it'll ask you to sign up with your Gmail ID. That is because it's a Chromebook now. It's an integral part of the Google Chrome network and everything you do will be synchronized with the Google Drive. Now let's cut down through the tough talk and let's get our hands dirty. Select a picture profile you want on your account. I'm just gonna go with my logo. And after that, that's it. Setup complete and you can see, I also got a notification on the bottom right corner from Gmail. It says that I've signed into Chrome OS. Hell yeah. Now if you want, you can go through their tour. It's a short one and it'll tell you the basic stuff. And this is your Chrome OS. Looks quite boring though, isn't it? Let me tell you a couple of things. This is your command or control center with the Wi-Fi settings, power, sound, everything. And this is where all the notifications from Chrome browser come. And this is the Chrome browser itself. And the Chrome app launcher. Here you can find all the Google apps or third party apps that you've connected or you know installed on your Chromebook or on your Chrome browser itself. You'll see apps like Google Keep, Play Music, Evernote, etc, etc, etc. I'll just change the wallpaper to make it look a bit more lively. And that's it. Certainly looks better. So that's it for you guys. This is how you install the Chrome OS on a virtual machine. If you face any issue, then drop a comment down in the comment section below and hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and subscribe to my channel and check out more of my videos on the channel. People say I make good videos. You tell me. Thanks for watching the video guys. I'm Sahil and I'll see you soon.